In this video, we're going to take a look at the replace with method and the remove method. But first, let's take a look at the replace with method. And here you can see it. Just make sure you make this W a capital. And that's pretty much it. Replace with. Notice we're submitting HTML here, HTML tags. We're going to replace all of the paragraphs with new paragraphs that say new text everywhere. So all of these paragraphs should be replaced with new paragraphs that will say new text everywhere. And so let's go ahead and hit our button. And there you can see, we now have new paragraphs with our new text. Now let's go ahead and refresh our page back to its normal state. And let's just replace the paragraph in our third section here. So we'll say pound right. And we'll put some different text in here. We'll say, you just clicked a button. And that's actually a common way this method is used. It's used to give a new message once the user does something on your web page. And you can also do things like replace uh, messages. So let's say you put up a new message and then something else happened, and this gets into event handling, but something else happened, you can replace it with a new message if the user does something. So that's really what this replace method is for. And we'll deal with this in future videos when we get to more advanced topics with jQuery. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page again. Let's hit our button, and there you can see we got our new paragraph that tells the user that they just hit the button. Good. Okay, so let's take a look at the remove method. And that is exactly what you think it does. It just removes specific tags that we want to take out of our web page. And we don't actually have to put any arguments in here. So we can just clear everything out of here. And that's it. We're just calling the remove method. And in this case, we're just going to remove the entire section, our right section right here. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh the page, and there you can see the section is gone. This is useful if you want the user perhaps to remove uh, sections that they don't want to see. So let's say you had some ads up here or something, and you wanted to give them the option to remove that ad. This is a useful method to go ahead and use. Now we could remove all of the sections on this page, and let's do that. So we'll, so we'll select all the divs. So this should totally empty out our entire web page. So we'll go ahead and refresh our page. We hit our button and everything's gone, including our button. So that is how the replace with and remove methods work. I'll see you guys in the next video.